Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming through with a long overdue video of this palette sectional that we created like two years ago. Yes, it has been two years, don't kill me. I'm not really sure why it took me so long to get this out, but you guys have been asking, so here it goes. I hope you enjoy. So first things first, you wanna go around to as many stores as possible and collect as many palettes as you can find. All different sizes, even if they're in bad shape. The only thing I will say is that you should probably stick to grocery stores because they're gonna have the least amount of pesticides used on them because it's for food. The other thing that I did not record was the layout of the palette furniture. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you lay it out in the areas you want it to sit so that you can kind of get a general idea of, as to how it's gonna fit in that area. Okay, I have a guest in this video. His name is Robert. That is um, my lovely husband. He did a lot of the work in, in this and I am so grateful because sometimes I just like to sit back and relax and watch. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if I can get him on the recording here late, um, a little later. But what we did is we removed the majority of the planks off of the palette. And we cut them down to size so that they can fit the furniture. So once you get them laid out like they should be, you go ahead and nail them in place. Because we wanted the, the furniture to sit a little higher, we added another palette underneath. If I can suggest anything for you guys to do differently, I wanna make sure you know that any wood that you're not gonna need or use, remove it from the palette furniture because this made our sectional so much more heavier. So like all of those little planks that you see that's like underneath this that's not being used, we could have removed that and that would have probably took off a lot of uh, the bulk. When we flipped it over, it was so cute. I was so excited, but it still wasn't high enough. So we decided to go ahead and add legs. So this piece of wood that we're cutting on right now, it actually came from another piece of, you know, non-standard palette. Like I said, pick up all different sizes because you never know what pieces you will need from the palette. We got the idea to use these legs from another piece of palette. And as you can see, that same block is here. And we decided to cut those same type of pieces to use them as our legs. And it worked, it worked out. We nailed those in place and it was the perfect height. My original design, I wanted to have um, thicker pillows. I kind of put pillows in place and that's how I determined how high my back would sit. And so once I did that, I nailed those posts on and then I basically took the planks and nailed those onto the post. So here's a look at the sectional completely assembled but unfinished. I'm gonna paint that next. Keep in mind that the smaller part of the sectional there can be removed and the longer part is one piece. Also here's the back. Remember I told you that a lot of the palettes are treated with pesticides? We decided to go ahead and power wash it with a solution of bleach and soap just so that our skin would not be irritated by it. And I haven't had any problems with um, irritation. I use Glidden Exterior Flat Black Paint. This is what I purchased to seal it, although I did not use it. I gave the furniture about 24 hours to dry before I started painting. So here's the completed palette sectional two years ago. And this is how it looks today. Besides the color fading, it's actually in pretty good shape considering I didn't waterproof it. So two years later, I'm finally deciding to do some sort of cushion. I'm using this king size mattress foam top and it's made by Lucid. I picked it up from Amazon, so I'll put a link below. This is how the cushion looks fully expanded. I believe it's two inches thick. I took measurements of my sectional and then I transferred them here. 
I cut off the piece and then laid it in place. Using spray adhesive, I glued together pieces of foam to cover the area that was not covered by the larger piece. For my slip cover, I'm using this canvas drop cloth that I picked up from Home Depot. I didn't want to sew the actual cover, so all I did was I cut the drop cloth, leaving just a little bit of fabric for excess. I pinned it closed. I flipped it inside out, inserted the foam, and all I did was hot glued it closed. And finally, I want to protect the fabric with Scotch Guard. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the creation of my palette sectional. If you'd like to see how I styled this, um, here's a snippet here, but if you wanna see the full video, be sure to check it out. I have the link in my description. Babe, do you have anything to say? No, I think Angela pretty much covered everything. Why do you have to say Angela? That just sounds so fake. Okay, well until next time, <laughs> take care. <laughs>